For the first time since many years, my wife and I took a brief vacation, just the two of us. We drove around in our own country to see some stuff we have never seen before. We went to the castle at Muiden and saw all the tourist towns across the beaches of Holland. I was amazed at how much of this country I didn't see before. I was even very surprised to see that the dunes near the sea are really high. They really look like mountains when everything else is so flat. To make it a more virtuous trip, I tried to get a high gas mileage out of my car so I could do some calculations afterward. And we drove to Patton, where there is one of these marvelous yet old medical isotope and test reactors, hopefully to be replaced by Palas soon. But let's return to the car. I kept driving just under 100 km per hour, which gets the most out of the 50 liters uh, out of the 55 liters of gas that its fuel tank holds. We managed to drive about 744 km. When we consider the emissions profile on the Dutch car website, we see that it emits about 168 grams per kilometer. But does that mean that we emitted 125 kilograms of carbon dioxide when we try to be as economical as possible. Let's find out. The simple way would be to calculate the tested economics of a car, in my case a Volkswagen Bora, and see how far it should go with a full tank. The Bora should go 14.3 kilometers per liter. So, the Bora has a tested fuel economy of 14.3 kilometers per liter. So, a full tank of 55 liters would give us a theoretical range of 786 kilometers. In total, the car would emit 132 kilograms of carbon dioxide. But we drove 744 kilometers on 51 liters. So, this is slightly more economical than the tested car. Our fuel economy was 14.5 kilometers, contrasted to 14.3 kilometers per liter. So let's see what the calculations show us. In total, driving more economical has saved 2 kilograms of CO2 on a 55 liter fuel tank. If our car had a fuel economy of 26 kilometers per liter, which some turbocharged 1 liter 6 speed cars should be able to reach and an emissions profile of 99 grams per kilometer we would have emitted 73 kilograms of CO2 for the same trip which is almost 50 kilograms less. To me these higher efficiencies are inaccessible. I would really like to buy a less polluting car but that requires either borrowing money, which I don't do, or spending somewhere between 10 and 20 thousand euros, which I don't have. Instead, I try to be as economic as I possibly can by using my bike daily and using the car as little as possible, perhaps once or twice a week normally. More on this subject will be recorded soon. Next, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters. Your support means the world to me. At the end of next month, I will be traveling to the UK to present my book at the London University. This was made possible by the work of Neil Emery, Sarah Mayo, and David Wood of the London Futurists. I will be accompanied by my friends Neil, Mark, and Luke on this trip. Admission is £7, not to pay me, but to pay for the room and the facilities. Please check out the website and join us if possible. This gathering is planned on the 30th of June. On the 1st of July, I will be doing a nuclear Q&A in Watford for a select group of people. If you really want to be there, let me know. But I want to keep the group small so that we can have some real arguments and conversations. I'm still looking for more speaking activities in and around the Netherlands. I'm particularly interested in traveling to the UK, Ireland, Germany, France, Belgium, Denmark, Norway, Sweden and Finland. I ask nothing but a cheap venue, a place to sleep and good company. 
If you like this video, remember to like it and leave a comment, for that helps reaching more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out my Patreon page if you want to support me. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.